Hey, yo, it's Papa, my boys, and today we're gonna watch People That Slips in a Haunted Church. Haunted Church. I hate churches. Okay. So. <gasps> One hour? Oh, you think you're weak? No, don't do that. Well, you guys, you got what you wanted. You made contact with the dead, and this one's not very friendly. I have to do it in the town on the computer. Doesn't that hog you to open um, or fen edge? Scary. We're trying to get our friend up off this wall. It's literally like the Berlin Wall right now. Don't let me go. Um, go? Let's yeah. do this. I see. <laughs> Rusted in 1877 by Miss Maria Holland. It was opened in 1877. Alright, good to have you back. Out of enemy territory. It's we good. did, boys. Europe, what is up, explorers? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Dark. Today's episode is going to be exciting as heck. You don't want to exit out of this video. I think this place is super haunted. We are exploring a place called St. Joseph's in Preston, UK. We are in the United Kingdom, guys. We are exploring our first ever Beyond the Dark episode here in the United Kingdom. Actually, it's our first ever any episode out of the country for Beyond the Dark. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. I guess... Let's read this. Let's read this before the video. As to Joseph Piss Hospital, Hospital was erected on Mount Street, Preston in 1877 by Miss Maria Holland for the benefit of the sick poor. It was opened in 1879 and run by the sisters of Charlie Cher charity of our lady mother of mercy who also ran as the josephos josephus orphanage in theater street street in 1884 it opened up it, it opened up opened it opened up two rooms as accommodation for private patty patinets and during the first world war it the hospital was later later recognized as a training center century century for nurses and accepted in first trainees in 1958 the hospital closed late in late in the late 1980s and in now the Mount Street Nursery Home. The Sisters of Charity are still basics of in Mountain Street in Mount Street as a provincial house. Okay, back to the video. I'm so scared to watch it. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. And look at the statue right there. We have a lot of climbing to do still. We're almost done, though. 
then I could tell you what we're doing and what we're trying to film and show because there's a lot going on right now. This is all part of the adventure. This place is wrecked, but it's massive. You guys seen the drone shots? It's like a proper Welcome coffee to watch Scary on Movies the Park 1. See? Look at that, the operating things to keep the distance apart. We have seven minutes left, so... so right now is the stop. We're gonna put the seven minute timer. Where's the timer? Okay. We're gonna go put it. Seven starts now! Nursing quarters that closed in 1983. We'll get more into that in a minute. I just need to just sit back and adjust because it's not the area we want to start our video on yet. We're moving along. We have to move along to get in. We have to jump through this window to the next window to get over to the other side. This is beyond the dark extreme edition. Alright, this is this is sick. Oh wow. This building's amazing. Here, what is up explorers? In today's video, we are exploring St. Joseph's Orphanage. This is my second orphanage I've ever filmed in my life. And the history about this is actually kind of simple, but there's a lot going on here. It was built in 1873 and it closed in 1983. The whole thing was, is like, first this place was a huge orphanage. It has a theater inside, a church. The nuns came from Holland. And what happened was, this place ended up then transforming into a hospital. The whole bottom floor was a hospital. The building right here was a hospital. And then um, the only the top floor of this place was still an orphanage. The reason why is because during World War One and World War Two, they had to make room for the patients from all the wars, and they stuffed them all inside here. Obviously, a lot of people were injured. A lot of horrors happened here. I guess the nuns mistreated some of the orphans that were here, too. So a lot of, like, devastation happened inside here, and a lot of people were sad inside here. But the outside, it honestly looks amazing from what I'm used to. I've been inside the United States for over a year straight, so seeing some Gothic architecture here is beautiful. Especially since, like, this place is, like, literally actually kind of destroyed, so it makes this Beyond the Dark video actually pretty spooky. And I'm not alone. Us four in the UK is filming our first ever Beyond the Dark episode, so it's going to be sick, guys. We brought all the ghost equipment. If you guys are hearing these bangings in the, in the outside, it's because there's a festival going on, so they're lighting off crazy fireworks. I hope it ends soon, but for the ghosts, Proven Demons brought this up, and he says he thinks that this is actually better because it might be loud on the outside. We have all our ghost gear, but we think when the festivals are going on, it's mixed. How many minutes there's left? Four minutes, okay? Just a few minutes, three, two minutes. The ghost happy and more active. I mean, that's what we're thinking. It's bringing the people together, especially since this was an orphanage. The kids are hearing the fireworks go off. They might like that. So we're hoping that this is actually a better thing for us and not ruin the video because the banging, the fireworks going on is kind of crazy. So let's get on with this video, guys. Check it out. Let's do it. And this is literally why I travel out of the United States. I could find and explore places like this. Let's go in. Unfortunately, I wasn't exactly planning on doing a Beyond the Dark, but after I seen this place, learned about the history, I knew that a lot of people said this place was haunted. I have to come. So I did not bring my ghost camera, but we do have a lot of ghost equipment with us today, and we have ghost hunters with us, so it's still good. Oh, uh, God. All over me already. Dude, even check it. Even since the signed orphanage on the top right, you can barely make it out. This is insane. We're filming an actual haunted orphanage. Dude, look at the archways walking in. Two how many minutes left? Three minutes again. Yeah, it's, it was a hospital for World War One and Two patients. Look at this thing. That's old. That is really old. Dang. And there's no floor there. Yeah, we can't fall. Or, yeah, we could like fall, fall in. Wait, who said we can go this way? Dan did. And then Dan? He, then he looked at it and said, "You think we can go that way?" I mean, I'd risk it. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy pop. I will never go that way. <laughs> <laughs> If you, if you get a nice okay, run, okay, you might be I able to jump it. I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe I didn't see the, the, the reason it uh, goes into the right. basement. I don't well, know. Maybe I... Yeah, so this is a very unsafe building, as you can tell. Over 100 years old. 
All the mattresses were chucked in here. So wait, you guys said there's a... What did I just say? Yo, I hear footsteps. This was upstairs. I heard that. He shook the building. Hello? I heard William go. That was a footstep there. That one. Easy. Yeah, it's either a footstep or firework, but the first one I heard. It was, was definitely a bang from size. He shook the ground. Yeah, this floor is so bad. I don't know. It sounded like the camp in here. I don't know if this floor is even safe, honestly. This bit's all right. Oh, I felt that shake. Jeez. You can see upstairs, I mean, all the floors are like this now. I mean, there's a hole right over there. It is doable, but we've got to keep our eyes peeled, all of us, and look after each other. All right. Okay. Come on, Dan, you go first. Why don't you always sacrifice me? Well, if he can do it, I think we're good. Thanks, Josh. Just saying. Dan, so you came here before as well. So, like, what's some stuff you know about? Because you said, what, was it, your aunt was a nun here or something? Yeah, so um, I, was, I grew up in this town. I was born in this town, grew up, and I still live in this town. Now, there's been constant stories about this place. Every time I came to the, to the town, shopping or whatever, because this is in the city center, uh, we would always walk past it. And my grandma would tell me stories about how she saw a nun in the top tower once. Now, then she told me about uh, the history that I've got connected to this place. My great-great-auntie was a nun here. And then she left this part and she went into the uh, hospital that they built next to it to look after injured war soldiers. So there's a lot of history. I've never seen a ghost here. But, I mean, I get this overwhelming, freaky feeling. Um, but I'm hoping to have a change. Oh. And I'll finally see the ghost I want to see. A throne? I wasn't even filming. It was that thing right there. Yeah, what? Something, something just launched off the ground and threw itself. Yeah, but yeah, who has the video clip? No, 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 I wasn't. We were filming. No. I was recording, but I didn't see it. I it's... just heard it. Go, it flew from over there. Time to right Serious guys tomorrow.